It's not your journey to take. It's not your journey to take. It's not your journey to take. Let's learn. Let's learn. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Not Your Journey to Take. Early morning sip and chat. My name is Keisha, K-E-S-H-A, Mason Campbell. I am the author of Not Your Journey to Take, and I teach women that no is a complete sentence, and I show them how to establish and set healthy boundaries with their family and friends, all while putting their needs first. So this is the last week, last couple of days in the month of January, 2023. So we have been tasked each week with learning how to set and implement boundaries. It is absolutely a process. So in week one, your goal was to set a couple of boundaries as your goals. Because every year we set goals, things we want to do, how we want to do them, all those things. So you were tasked with putting a couple of boundaries in there. You know, whether it's one or two, four or five, totally your choice. But put your boundaries in there. Week two, you were to test some of those boundaries to test them and in testing those boundaries what you did was whatever the boundary was whether it would be to say no whether it was to put barriers up and not barriers in a bad way barriers meaning that you know i can only do so much for so many people at so much time right um however way you see your boundary need to be set because we are all individuals we all have individual boundaries boundaries we all have different ways where we are um moving about life with that being said we're all asked to do something whether it be a favor whether it be some type of request whether it be time or your money everybody's always asked something and i'm not saying not show up because you absolutely can and you absolutely should if you have the capacity but if you don't you need to learn that no is a complete sentence and that's okay So in week two, you were tasked with testing your boundaries. Now, some of you, um, as as we talked in the DMs, some of you were able to set and implement the boundaries, but not be able to follow through. Whatever your your thing was that was happening with you, you couldn't follow through. So you, you did a great job setting them. You did a great job attempting to implement them, which, listen, those are steps that you need to take, especially if boundaries is not your thing and you've never had them before so i commend all of you who set a few boundaries and who tested them that is an absolute accomplishment so i congratulate you for that and then for those of some of you a couple of you were able to um, set the boundaries implement the boundaries and kind of set in your boundaries and as we talked you said it felt pretty good you didn't know that it was okay to just kind of pull back and put you first without people feeling, you know, some type of way. But a couple of you stood in that. So again, and I'm proud of you. And then, you know, there were a few of you, if not more of you, that set them and implemented them in in your mind, you implemented them. But then when uh, those persons came to you, you just couldn't follow through in that aspect. So some of you could follow through for a little bit, but then eventually give in. And then some of you just couldn't get that far and a few of you were able to implement and and follow through on your boundaries so i commend all of you because it's a stepping stone right it takes time to do something that you've never done before it takes time to complete something that you've never completed before everything is a process and you learn over time and each step builds upon the other so in week one we set a few boundaries as our goals week two we tested those boundaries So in week three, I talked to you about your fears. I talked to you about five fears as to why you don't implement your boundaries. The first one is fear how someone will feel if you say no. The second one is fear of retaliation. The third is fear they won't respect your boundaries. Four, fear of putting you first. And five, ultimately fear of the unknown. So if we can tackle some of these fears, you will know what fear is the one that tackles you the most because as you are tested or things are requested or required of you, you'll know how you need to react and how you need to show up. 
So those fears will creep in. So you'll know which one resonates with you the most, whether it's fear of how someone will feel if you say no, fear of the retaliation that, oh, if you say no, then I'm going to say no, or fear that they won't respect your boundaries because they go into negotiation mode to try to justify why you need to do what they're requesting or requiring of you to do. Fear of putting yourself first. Most of us are givers. Most women are givers. And most times, women give more than they receive. And they're so used to doing it that it's like clockwork. So then when you begin to put yourself first, it becomes a thing. And you're like, wait a minute. Oh, my gosh. I can't put me first because I have to take care of this. I have to take care of that. I have to take care of that. And if I don't do that first, right, then I'm going to feel guilty. Well, just like the example we've been talking about all month. If you are on an airplane, the flight attendant says, if the cabin loses air pressure, the masks fall, secure your mask first, and then help all others. Same is true in life. You cannot pour from an empty cup. Just like I can't help you with your oxygen mask and not have mine on because I will lose my oxygen and you'll be so focused on you and being able to breathe, nobody will be able to help me. This is for all my givers out there. And then fear of the unknown. You just don't know what's going to happen when you set your boundaries. You are unsure how people are going to receive you as you set your boundaries. And that bothers you. Right? So now, week four, my favorite, ready responses. So I'm going to give you six ready responses that you can use typically in any situation. In any situation. And you just have to get comfortable in your ready responses. And ready responses are pre-prepared responses that you have. Because one, you have to put you first and go through your mental checklist. And in that mental checklist, you are saying, what do I need to do? What do I have going on? What do I have planned? Do I feel like I need a day for myself to just regather, to regroup? All those things should be a part of your mental checklist before you say yes. Okay, so let's talk about the ready responses. I gave you six. So here we go. One, no, not today. Two, give me some time and I'll get back to you. Three, I understand, but I don't have the capacity. Four, I personally am not comfortable with having this conversation. Five, believe me, I get it, but I can't do it. Six, you know, at the end of the day, You do what you have to do, but that's not for me. Those are a few ready responses that you can use in typically any situation, especially if you feel like you just cannot show up at that time or you have allotted out some time for yourself. Take that time and don't feel guilty. So this week, we're wrapping it all up. And as we wrap it up, I call it putting a lid on it. Lid is spelled L-I-D-D. Put a lid on it. So let me tell you what putting a lid on it means. Putting a lid on it means L, listing your boundaries. I, implementing your boundaries. D, describe your fears of setting the boundaries. D, develop your ready responses. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day when everything is going, everything is working, whether for your good or not for your good, doesn't matter. What you need to do is put a lid on it. When we put a lid on it, we are listing our boundaries, implementing our boundaries, describing how our fears or what our fears are of our boundaries and developing your ready responses. I want to thank you so much for joining me for Not Your Journey to Take Early Morning Sip and Chat. My name is Keisha, K-E-S-H-A, Mason Campbell, and I am the author of Not Your Journey to Take. And I teach women that no is a complete sentence. And I show them how to set and implement healthy boundaries with family and friends while putting their needs first. When you get a moment, I would say go to my captions. You will see a link that would allow you to book a strategy session. Let's talk. Let's figure out what's going on with you and see if my 10-week program is something that may fit you and what you have going on in your life with setting and implementing boundaries for yourself. I want to thank you for joining me. Have a super fantastic day on purpose. Have a great one. Thank you for watching the latest Not Your Journey to Take video. I hope that each of you will be having a super fantastic day. 
and be sure to subscribe, like, and share.